I bought this Harbor Freight string light probably about a year ago. It's not too bad. I think I paid about 20 bucks for it. It's, uh, I believe it's 16 gauge. Um, it's about 24 foot long. It has 12 slots to screw in light bulbs. Um, and then it just plugs into a, a normal 120 volt outlet. I've used this thing on a few camping trips and I really kind of like it. The uh, biggest issue I have with it are with the lights that it comes with. These things are about as cheap as they get. It comes with a whole lot of extras and you'll find out quickly if you do transport this around you know why it comes with a lot of extras. Let's see the uh, drop test. I've busted so many of these things but I'm going to do a quick drop test. So I'm going to drop them from one foot. All right, it didn't break at one foot. Let's go to 16 inches. It didn't break. Try 20 inches. Whoa! Did you see that? It just exploded. It, I actually closed my eyes because I had a feeling it was going to do that. There are glass shards everywhere. They are extremely low quality. When you are out camping and uh, you're putting up your rope lights and you're just taking them down, there's a good chance that at least one of them is going to hit the ground a little bit. I mean, that was 20 inches and it exploded. <laughs> I've seen some of these things break at, at just a few inches. You're lowering the lights down and there happens to be a rock there, it touches it, explodes. Now you've got glass shards all over your campsite that you're not going to be able to find. Now I'm on a concrete floor so I can get my broom out and sweep this stuff up. But when you're camping, you don't want to be irresponsible and leave glass shards laying around because a kid, you know, you're camping. Kids are going to run around without their, without their shoes on. You don't want them to get a piece of glass stuck in their foot or, or to cut themselves. So now you've got to clean this mess up and good luck because you're on grass or, or sand or something. You're not even going to find all these pieces. I swept up that mess of glass and I went ahead and screwed a light bulb into every single one of these fixtures. So there's 12 light bulbs in there. I want to kind of show you guys the Jackery says that it's consuming 92, 93 watts, 89, somewhere between, you know, roughly I'd say about 90 watts average according to the Jackery. So if you're at a campsite that's got, you know, electrical hookup, great. But if you're going to be running on a Jackery or a battery or something else, or maybe you're running these at your house, that's something to consider. This is, you know, real similar to a single 100 watt light bulb when all of these are being used. It's also worth noting that the Harbor Freight box says they're 11 watt bulbs, uh, but according to my calculations, there's 12 bulbs here running at roughly 90 watts. That'd be about seven and a half, seven and a half watts per bulb. I'm going to be real careful here to not bust these lights. Uh, just dragging these things on the ground, these glass ones can cause them to break. But here's one of the Amazon LEDs that claims to be 1 watt. And then this is the Harbor Freight bulb that claims to be 11 watts. Uh, there's really not too visible of a difference, honestly. Uh, this is a, a single line filament and this is kind of a little more squiggly but uh, really it seems like the amount of light it puts out is very similar. So what I'm gonna do is change all these bulbs out and let's see how much power it pulls from the Jackery. I've now got 12 of the Amazon LED bulbs screwed in and it says it's pulling 12 watts, which is absolutely correct according to what Amazon said they were one watt bulbs. And so there are 12 of them on this rope. The, finally, the best part about these is they're plastic. So even if they were to break, they're not going to leave glass shards everywhere and they'll probably just crack. I could throw them away. The 24 pack was about 20 bucks, so at less than a dollar a bulb, it seems like a steal to me to go ahead and change these out. I'm going to take the Harbor Freight bulbs and throw them in the trash because I don't think they're safe uh, to use around kids. They're really easy to blow up and nobody likes to clean up a glass mess. Hopefully this review of these light bulbs and string light is helpful to someone. I would highly recommend if you've got an existing string light, rope light, whatever they're called, to upgrade them to these plastic LEDs, not just for safety, but also because they pull almost a tenth of the amount of power as the uh, incandescents. And I would actually kind of hope Harbor Freight quits selling those other ones just because they, they should never have left China. They're so crappy, those bulbs. If you don't currently have a rope light, then I would encourage you to buy one that comes already with LEDs because 
a twenty dollar rope light and then upgrade it with LEDs for roughly another twenty bucks. You're talking forty dollars for that rope light set. Um, I'm sure you could probably find some LED rope lights. I think Harbor Freight might even sell them now, but I'm guessing they would probably be forty bucks or less. I guess you could check the prices and see for yourself. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video is helpful to you.